Seared Gaming. Thanks for joining me again. Nice to see you. IRL. <laughs> Not IRL, I mean in the um, metaverse. I don't know what you can call it. Give me just a couple seconds just to get everything started. off my head there. Okay, I'll just do it right here. Greetings everyone and welcome to my 2021 advent calendar unboxing day number 13 and 14. So I apologize for not coming on yesterday. Um, but that just means I'll be opening up two days in one today. So it'll be a two for one type of day. So day 13 and 14. I have a pretty hectic week coming up. So I was thinking I may not come on tomorrow and I will stream two days in one on Thursday. But I, it's, it's undecided, I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it all depends on my schedule and timing and how everything is running. So be prepared. Maybe tomorrow I might be on for an unboxing, maybe not, and I'll do a two for one day on Thursday. I have some good news as well today. I received another advent calendar in the mail. Better late than never. And um, it's actually not too, too late because it's not a 24 day advent calendar. It's just a 14 day calendar. So um, if I open up one day, one every day, I think I may open up one on Christmas day. I have to pull out my calendar, but um, it's not too, too late. And that advent calendar, I might as well introduce the calendar and show you and talk a little bit about it. I'm pretty enthused about this calendar actually. Oh, it's pretty heavy actually. Wow. So this calendar, welcome my precious, welcome, welcome. This calendar, I'm pretty enthused about it. It's, um, it's from a company, a small company from Nova Scotia, and um, it's called Anther and Apiary. An apiary is a place where bees live and honey is collected. So if you can kind of put two and two together with that clue, this is a honey advent calendar. It's all local honeys from Nova Scotia. Um, the raw, uh, raw honeys 
which I also love. And um, what's really neat about it, it was, it was hard for me to get my hands on this beauty uh, because they only ship in the province of Nova Scotia. So I actually had to hunt down a friend of mine. A friend of mine did me a favor. If you're watching this, you know who you are, but I don't think you're watching this. But anyway, uh, basically I had to use his address and I shipped this calendar to his address. Then in turn, he mailed me this advent calendar via Canada Post. So that's why there was a little bit of a delay there just with the logistics and the timing of things he had to get to a post office. But so thankful that he was able to send this to me because basically only people residing in Nova Scotia are able to get this calendar. And Nova Scotia is a pretty small province, meaning it's pretty exclusive, pretty VIP. I doubt anyone in Ontario or the rest of the country um, or the world for that matter, have this advent calendar. And um, I wanted to get something to go with all of my teas since I have three advent calendar, uh, tea advent calendars this year. I wanted to get something to pair well and I always drink honey with my tea if I am to add any sweetener at all. So I thought this would be perfect. So welcome to the family little guy, welcome, welcome. Nova Scotia is a boomer island? Yeah, I guess so. PEI, Nova Scotia, the Maritimes in the East Coast. Google, like, what's the population of Nova Scotia? It's really small. It's beautiful. I know they have the, uh, wow, the population in 2019 from Census Canada is uh, less than 100,000 in Nova Scotia. No, sorry, sorry. Less than a million in Nova Scotia. Less than a million people reside in Nova Scotia. 971,395. So, I mean, not too many people living in, in Nova Scotia. Meaning, barely anyone have, has this calendar, this advent calendar. Um, Hi, Colin. I hope you did well on your exam. And, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Nova Scotia is a pretty small island. Um, but it's beautiful. I do have a friend, Carloaf. I know, know if you're watching Carloaf. Oops. But I know you've gone to Nova Scotia and you've hiked the, what's it called? The Habit, Habiton Trail, Habiton Trail, something like that. It's supposed to be very, very beautiful. Cape Breton Island and Nova Scotia. Gorgeous. Okay, that being said, let's get started. I have two bottles of wine to drink today. I have to catch up, so wish me luck. Day number lucky 13. Where are you? Here. Oh, it's so pretty. What are you? Oh, sick. Shit. This looks so good. Okay. First of all, it's like all pink everything. The shape of the bottle is like a wonky drunk bottle. It's been drinking a little bit too much. It's a little, uh, it's a little wavy. Let's put it that way. It is the JP Chenette Ice Edition 
meaning it goes pairs perfectly over ice, which is great because I brought a glass full of ice. So it's gonna be perfect for it. Uh, it's just called a pink wine, Vin Mousseau, produced in France. And it's a demi-sec. Demi-sec, what does that mean? Like a semi-sweet, I think, today. Oh, it's a medium dry. Medium dry. Demi-sec means medium dry. Guys, check out the shape of this bottle. I don't know if you can take it in. It's like wonky. It's, uh, it's not symmetrical on both sides. And there's a little divot for your hand to hold it really nicely. Very interesting shape. Pretty good. 200 milliliters, 11%. Should go down nicely. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So finally, we have like a medium dry in this calendar because the whole first 12 days, except for one, were dries or extra dry wines, which I mean, I don't mind because less hangover, not that sweet. You don't get really a headache or dehydration because less sugar. But I'm glad that they switched it up a little bit today. I can handle a medium dry. Cheers, everyone, to a new advent calendar to add to the collection. Thank you for joining me. Mmm, well, that's nice. It's interesting because when you first sip it, you taste the sweetness. No, I lie. When you first sip it, you taste the dryness, and then it turns into sweetness. So it's definitely, you taste the dryness in it, but yet then the sweetness kind of like hits you. Hmm. And it does pair so nicely over ice on the rocks, which is rare for a wine. Normally you don't add ice to wine. Don't bang your phone on the glass. I heard that. Yeah, you should hear that. That's the chin chin. That is the cheers sound. That's what I was trying to achieve, Colin. But maybe your little ASMR ears are too sensitive and it hurts them. I apologize. I apologize to anyone who has sensitive ears and very um, sensitive mics and they're picking up on a glass banging sound. But yeah, that's kind of um, what I was trying to achieve. Give me one second, guys. to join the party and his name is Vegas and he's a sweet boy he's been he's been my tail for the last 
I don't know, a week or so, it's really attached to me. Normally it's my girl, Viva, who's a little bit more attached to me. I don't have boomer ears, I hear everything. Colin, <laughs> you're too much sometimes, eh? But I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not a, I guess I am a boomer. Okay, so, but anyways, the point of the story is, cheers. And I hope you're drinking something, Colin. And I hope it's just not Gatorade. Add a little vodka to that Gatorade and let's make it a party. How about that? Okay, day number 13 of the cheese is, <sighs> my boomer eyes can't find it. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I have good vision. I have 2020 vision. Last I checked. Last I checked. If only I could find. Here it is. Oh, on the top corner. And the image of the day. Oh, it's a little Christmas tree. How pretty is that, eh? Okay, but more importantly. What are we working with for the cheese of the day? Vegas, stop. Here. The cheese of the day is some good old chatty. Some white cheds. And if you know me and Vegas, you know that we appreciate and enjoy a white cheddar. A nice white cheds. I love I love white cheddar mac and cheese personally. I don't know why. I prefer it over like regular cheddar. I don't know. It's just got that taste that, that I enjoy. But let me nibble on this to confirm. To make sure it's not poison for the audience and all. Very nice. Not as smooth and creamy as the vintage cheddar, but still. It's a good cheese. The advent calendar is from um, the United Kingdom where cheddar cheese was invented. So they know how to make a good quality cheds. Apollo 62, hello, greetings. Thank you for joining me. I unfortunately didn't um, come on yesterday, so you get me for two days today. Day 13 and day 14 as well. So I'll be drinking two bottles of wine, basically eating two of everything food-wise that I have, and I'll be on for double the time. Wow, this French semi-dry rosé, very nice. Okay, Colin, I was like, fuck it, the more offensive, the better. Yeah, sometimes, I don't know what it is, guys, but I trust people who swear more and just who are more straight up because I feel like they don't have anything to hide if they're just being straight up, right? So my trust level goes up for people like that. I don't know why. Actually, I think it's proven. I read an article about that before. Kind of makes sense, actually, if you think about it. Okay, let's move on to the Melt Advent Calendar. The Melt Chocolates from London, Vegas. The Melt Chocolates from London, cute little Notting Hill Homes. Lucky number 13, ooh, I love this color blue. Actually, I pretty well love all shades of blue. No way, I got 
got a raid! My first raid! Wow! I don't know what to do! Thank you so much! DYRV official for raiding me! That's so nice of you! Greetings everyone! Welcome to my advent calendar unboxing 2021 where I'm basically opening up like 12 advent calendars a mix of wine, cheese, chocolate, beauty goods, um, honey, three different tea advent calendars, like basically everything I love, right? And right now I'm opening up a Melt London chocolate advent calendar. They look like little um, Notting Hill homes from London. I just think they look so darn cute. So day 13 today, because I missed yesterday. So I'm opening up day 13 as well as day 14 today. And only problem with this melt calendar that I have, I think maybe they forgot to send me a little um, like copy of what's inside the calendar because I have no idea what I'm eating. There's no information on it. If you look at the website as well, which I have pulled up, the website just kind of explains a possibility of things you could get, but it doesn't even have like a whole list of things. So it really kind of is a surprise, a true surprise. And the chocolate of the day is not for dogs, Vegas, I'm sorry. The chocolate of the day I'm kind of guessing what it's going to be. Colin, you're the best. Colin, you're, you're stop telling all of your Twitch buddies to come see me. I appreciate that. Thank you, Colin. Even Apollo 62, I didn't know you knew Colin. Wow, small world, eh? Wow, this is so good. This is a chocolate truffle with nuts. And guys, like, please, I hope, I hope no one holds you at, at gunpoint. If you're not having a good time, feel free to go. But I hope you, um, I hope you enjoy watching my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I'm just starting out. I'm looking for 50 followers. I have 40 right now, so only 10 left to go. I'm almost there. I'm chugging along. I'm chugging along, guys. I'm chugging the wine as well. <laughs> so this, this uh, chocolate. Mm, I'm gonna have to look it up because I have no clue. Apollo 62. I don't. He just put your link in another stream's Discord. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Colin, for the uh, for the plug. I appreciate it. Okay. She has been my for six years. I think I know what this one is. I can can definitely tell what it is. It is a smoked almond praline. That's what this is for sure. I can taste like the smokiness and there's the chunks of almonds. Here, go down. Mm. 
We raided together in a shitty wild guild. We both hate, and we are better than the players there. I know, Colin, you're really good at WoW. When you used to play, you're just a little busy to dedicate your life to WoW at the moment, which is understandable. Totally understandable. WoW is one of those games that sucks you in. You dedicate a lot of hours when you, when you get playing WoW. Die Rev, you must be good at WoW then. I mean, Colin says you're better than than him now. Oh, you quit. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> okay. The second chocolate advent calendar for day 13 is my IKEA advent calendar. So that one melt Liberty, um, not Liberty, Notting Hill Melt London calendar was 69p, 69 pounds. This one was a cool 9.99 Canadian dollars. You know, I like diversity in my stream, right? You have to have good diversity. The picture of the day for the IKEA calendar. Oh, it's a little bauble or a Christmas tree ornament. And I feel like this totally matches my thumbnail. Look at that. So I got my nails done with some Japanese 3D nail art. And this nail are some Christmas tree ornaments. So I think that's super cute. And the chocolate of the day for Ikea is, ah, looks to be a caramel truffle. Let's see how it is. Mmm, that's like a super... Not like the caramel I've ever had before. It's like, um, you can tell by the color. It's like dark brown. And not a chewy caramel. More of like a melt-in-your-mouth caramel. So, if that's what they want to call it. Caramel, sure. I think this is actually better than the normal caramels I eat. Hmm, it's good. Bonk boy, hello. This is not pre-recorded, this is live, and in living color. I'm too much of a boomer to pre-record and do all that crap, to be perfectly honest. I am not technologically advanced whatsoever. I am a pretty face, but, um, you know, you can't be gifted with everything out there, so... It's not pre-recorded, this is live. <laughs> if that makes you feel any better. Bonk boy, it's no cap, straight up. Straight goods, this is live. The time is 9.13 p.m. Right now, as I'm saying this. Anyway. Colin, don't leave. All of your friends are here. It's a party. Stay for like, um... 15 minutes, half an hour. However, however much time you can allocate. I do have to open up two days, unfortunately. 
So I opened up day 13, which was actually yesterday. Bonk boy. And today is actually day 14, and it was because I missed yesterday, unfortunately. So that's why I'm opening up two days in one today. Okay, so that was the two chocolates of the day. I've got the cheese over here, which is some nice cheds. Now, do I have a cat? No. I have two dogs and some fish. What about you, Apollo 62? Do you have any animals? Do you have a cat at home or any animals? I love animals, by the way. I... Hi, how cute is that? Oh, it's because there is a baby upstairs. Not my baby, but there is a baby upstairs. <laughs> That's why, but no cat. Okay, on to the David's Tea calendar. Day number 13. Right up top. And it is Ooh, I've had this one before. It is organic super ginger. And this one is like when they say super ginger, they really mean it. It's um it's intense. But um it's it's good if you have a cold and you're trying to clear out your sinuses. Well, um, also ginger is really soothing on your tummy if you have an upset stomach, if, you, if you're if um, you nauseated with the flu or you're hungover from all the Christmas partying that you've been doing, you know, all that stuff. Ginger tea definitely comes in clutch. So very useful. I mean, the flavor is super gingery, not the best taste in the world but it actually helps you. It's, it's more of like um, a remedy tea. Okay, day 13 in the books. Oh my God, look at all those emotes. Colin, holy moly. Apollo 62, sadly no, want to adopt a retired greyhound one day. Aw, I love greyhounds. Like, I love greyhounds, whippets. I have two Hungarian vishlas myself. Um, so I love all those really fast sporting dogs. Uh, I like to go hiking and uh, like outdoorsy things and they can actually keep up with you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like little dogs too. Uh, but I feel like they're not really able to go with you when you, you know, when you go outside and you have like outdoor activities. So, doesn't know what knows what they are, just sees emotes. Don't make a meme about me now, Colin. <laughs> they're Pokemon. Okay, nice Pokemon emotes. Nice Pokemon emotes. Um, <laughs> This is true though, that is that is true. What's the nicest one there? I kinda like Pikachu. It's the cutest one. What's this blue one? Can't really... What is that blue one? Is that a legendary? Can't really tell. Okay, on to the AC Perch tea advent calendar. And the AC Perch calendar. Oh, Sisu. I don't know how to pronounce that word. But yeah, I actually have it. I caught it on Go. What is that, Apollo? I'm a dog mom. I am a dog mom. I don't have any actual kids. 
but I'm a dog mom of two and um, I love my dogs they are like my babies yeah they are like my babies so I love them Viva is three and a half years old and Vegas is two and a half okay so AC Perch this advent calendar is all the way from Denmark so <clears throat> I normally don't have any Danish things, but hey, it's really good quality. Lucky number 13. Hmm, interesting. A very European flavor, if I've ever seen one. A misclicked Gengar. Okay, a very European flavor indeed. The tea of the day from AC Perch is green apple elderflower. So let's take a smell. Oh, by the way, I did just notice that this is like appointed by the um, Danish queen of Denmark. Purveyor to Her Majesty the Queen of Denmark, Denmark, 1835. So this is a super old tea house. Not quite as old as um, as the British tea house. Uh, oh my God, what's it called now? I have it downstairs. Oh my God, why am I drawing a blank? Anyways, it's not as old as the British tea house. What's it called? It's driving me crazy now. Fortnum and Mason. But still, almost as old. Fortnum and Mason is from like the late 1700s it was established. This is established in 18, 1835. Still, not many companies out there that are still around from 1835. So you got to give them some credit. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it looks pretty. Whoa. Very fruity, and look how pretty that is with these flowers, these... Yo, is that saffron? No, it can't be saffron. It would be super expensive if that was saffron. Maybe that is elder flowers? Must be elder flower. Kind of resembles saffron. A very delicate looking flower. And let's read what the little bio says about it. Apollo 62 went to Copenhagen in the beginning of October this year. Oh, that's very recent. Whoa. Really nice, but so expensive. Yeah. You know what I really want to go to Denmark for? There's that extreme, I think it's like one of the best restaurants in the world. It's mainly all like, um, tasting menu i think they give you like 40 different dishes they're all small little just like bite-sized dishes it's one of the most expensive like best um gastronomical restaurants in the world it's a really great experience they use a lot of like dry ice and different like you know frozen mousses and things like that where the look the appearance of the dish isn't what it really tastes like I forget what the name of this restaurant is, but uh, I have to look it up. But it looks like such a neat experience. I really want to go to Denmark for this one, for that restaurant in particular. Other than that, I mean, Danish butter cookies are pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't go to um, Copenhagen. Like, Copenhagen, what would bring you after the pandemic to travel to Copenhagen, Denmark? Why would you travel there? Out of curiosity, Apollo 62. And the blurb for the tea of the day, green apple elderflower tea. A lovely green tea with lovely notes of apple and elderberry. This tea goes by the name Copenhagen Fall. It has uh, green tea, blackberry leaves, elderberry flowers, so those were indeed elderberry flowers, 
apple pieces. Oh no! And safflower petals. That's what it was. It was safflower petals that we saw that kind of resembled saffron. Nice. Okay. Noma! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do mean Noma. You're right. I really want to go to Noma. Like, I would travel to Copenhagen just for Noma. Straight up. I would. I'm crazy that way. 70 bucks including return. Oh, oh. So, it's a no-brainer why you would go there. Just because the flights were so cheap. You must live in Europe and you probably took like... EasyJet Orion Air, one of those like economy airlines, right? Wanted to get a little vacation in before uni started again. Understandable, understandable. EasyJet, yep, yeah, definitely. Ryanair and EasyJet are the only way to fly when you're flying um, within Europe, I think. So cheap. Cheers to your little trip to Copenhagen. Okay, one hour flight. Where do you live, Apollo? 62. Moving on to the last tea of day 13, which is under the tree from the tea and me vlog, a uh, blog. Day number 13. Germany! Oh, welcome, welcome, all the way from Germany. Actually, I don't know if I have any other, like, international viewers. Apollo 62, I think you're my first international follower that I'm aware of, at least. So, thank you so much from across the Atlantic following me. That's such a, such a compliment. Okay, day number 13 from the T and Me blog which is the name that she goes by on Instagram and Etsy. It's an Etsy store that I actually got it from. And like, come on, look at this, this little wax seal that she has here. How beautiful is that? With some tea leaves and tea flowers and this little like thing that she has, come on. She put in a lot of time wrapping these. And she only made 20 total. So, I feel pretty lucky. Okay, the tea of the day Ooh. is it's premium loose leaf golden hour smoky Assam black and creamy oolong tea with caramel and figs. Wow, could you add any more to this tea? This is crazy. Finest and most fragrant, boldest and most luxurious. They've really added in all the adjectives here, I tell you. So where's this from? Founded and packaged in the USA. Okay, I guess that's some advertising for you. Still very substantial amount that they've included. Ooh, even on the back here, it says 5% of the profits help end violence against women. So they're donating, which is very nice to a cause, a uh, donation of their cause, of their, of their, I don't know. Okay. And then on this little blurb, Kind of just reiterates what I just read. Ingredients list is a Assam black tea, milky oolong tea, cardamom, dates, figs, cream caramel, roses, cornflower, safflower, 
flavors and jasmine flowers. Wow, well, they've got the flowers covered in this tea. Also dates and figs and cream caramel. Wow, there really is a lot in this tea. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm wondering like what this is going to taste like because it might be a little bit, there might be a little bit too much going on in this tea. But uh, we shall see. I'll have to try it and let you know. Interesting. Cool. Wow. I'm very happy to get this. I don't even know the, the weight of this tea. It doesn't really say. But this is pretty substantial. This is a pretty substantial bag. At least 50 grams. So, happy to get this one. Welcome, Gustavo Sampiao. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you almost sound Brazilian or Portuguese. Is that what you are, by any chance? Would you do the pie challenge at some point? The pie challenge? Oh my god, I really am a boomer. Because I don't know the pie challenge. Is that where they like put a pie in your face? Or is it some type of cream pie challenge? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Let me look it up. What's the pie challenge? Okay, it's not a cream pie challenge. Pies? McDonald's pies? Is that what it is? You have to eat 50 McDonald's pies? So you're looking, if I'm not mistaken here, Gustavo, you're looking for, you're looking for a mukbang. That's what you're looking for. A little girl to eat a lot of volume of food on camera for you. I may very well, you know, I've always wanted to do a mukbang and I've never done it. I always wanted to do the um, spicy noodle challenge, like that super spicy Korean ramen uh, noodle challenge. Because I love spicy food and I feel like I could kill that. Um, 50 pies. Ooh, maybe, maybe I might just do that. If somebody actually um, like pays for the pies or whatever sends me the pies and I don't actually have to buy 50 pies myself like the little mini McDonald's pies I might attempt it I would attempt it if someone sent it to me I would attempt it for sure just out of sheer principle but I don't know if I would actually go out to McDonald's or whatever and buy like a, a large quantity of pies on my own I would have to Really, really contemplate that one. It would definitely, um, it would hurt the next day. But uh, I think it might add to some nice viewership. So maybe, I might consider it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. The pie challenge, you have to put whipped cream or shaving cream on a paper plate and put it on your face? Oh, that's not even as fun as what I was just thinking. I'm thinking a mukbang here, Gustavo. A little more wine and you'll do it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the whipped cream and put it on my face. Yeah, I would do that. There's actually a game like that, a pie face game. So yeah, I would do that. That's not a big deal. I would do that for sure. I thought you were talking about like a mukbang, eating a huge quantity of pie in a short amount of time. I would still probably do that too. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Oh, Dehydrate UWU, welcome back! One of my nicest viewers I think I have. Honestly, honestly, you are always full of compliments. 
I don't know if you're a girl, you must be a girl because you notice my nails and my like skirt, like what I'm wearing, things like that, and my hair. And I feel like only a girl would notice those things. But um, honestly, you got, you're so nice. I wonder if you are a girl. Tell me, are you a girl? Bring back the leather skirt. Well, what about the leather pants? What about the leather pants, Dehydrate UWU? Now, these are not actual leather. These are pleather. Yesterday was actually rocking real a real leather skirt. But, um, you know, these are trendy too. They're trendy. Okay. Girl zoned. I'll laugh. Are you a guy though? A dehydrate UWU? Don't tell me. I really want to know. Are you a guy? Or are you a are you a uh, male or a female? Do you refer to yourself as him, he, or he or she, her? That's what I would like to know. Just out of curiosity. Okay, now, I finished with the teas. You're a guy? Dehydrate, UWU, you? you're a guy? Oh my God. I'm actually shocked because I'll be honest, you, you noticed, okay, you noticed my skirt, you noticed my belt, you noticed my nails and you noticed my hair and normally like, a girl would notice notice those things so you I have to say are just a very um, you notice the fine details in people you must because uh, I just thought for sure you must be a girl because only a girl would notice those things but no you are just a very detailed guy and I appreciate that you know what I like about you though dehydrate UWU is uh, you really know how to compliment a girl and make her feel special Cause you were like, you're just so nice. You're very, you got away with the ladies. You got away with the ladies. You got a little charm in you, don't you? Okay. Also, honestly, it must be the wine talking to you as well. I'm almost one bottle down. Okay. Moving on to the walnut advent calendar, all the way from Switzerland. Day number. Thirteen. Lucky number. Where the hell is it? Ah, thirteen. Which means how many days we have left? After t it's like eleven days left till Christmas, guys. That's crazy. Okay. Scroll a little up. He gave a long answer to your question. Oh, let me scroll up. Okay, dehydrate UWU. Let me let me scroll up. Bring back the leather skirt. No, just a guy with a girlfriend. And if I don't notice her hair and nails, then I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, this is so true. But still, guys usually don't notice those things. No. Uh, uh, okay. Um, streaming for the last like two weeks, a little less than two weeks. Nobody's really noticed my what i'm wearing no one's commented on what i'm wearing or like other than like a boob shirt or something but uh no one's noticed no one said anything about my hair no one said anything about my skirt or like you know what i mean like what i've chosen to wear no one commented on these cute little nails that i have so you've been trained well kudos to your girlfriend dehydrate uwu because you have been trained very well. Okay, day number 13. And the little tradition with this little advent cal, this little walnut vessel, is I let the audience see the contents first. So, are you guys ready? Here we go. Oh, I can kind of see a little, a little sneak peek here, a little glimpse of whatever this is. What is this? Oh, what is this? It's like a little, it's like a little doily thing. What is this? It's like, um, what is that? Wings and a crown and flowers? What 
is this? I'll have to read the banner and it will explain further, I'm sure. Kiss your guardian angel. Mm, okay. That's sweet. That's so nice. This kind of does look like an angel, right? With the wings. I can see a little angel in that. How cute. Little uh, embroidered thing. That's nice. Okay, no jewelry today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Maybe day 14, we'll hold some jewelry. A what shirt? <laughs> barely, <laughs> barely any shirt. That's how I get, that's how I bring them in guys. That's how I reel them in. <laughs> you gotta use your, your assets, your good, your good qualities that you've been blessed with. Well, I mean, I'm just doing what mostly every other Twitch streamer girl is doing on here. You know what I mean? But I guess I most silently appreciate Apollo 62. I think most silently appreciate unless they're sending me a whisper. I am getting some whispers, I will say that, but, uh, you know, they're still trying to be on, do it on the low. Okay. Actually, I might not stream tomorrow. I might stream on Thursday. We'll see. But um, I will wear a belt just for you, Dehydrate UWU, because you really appreciate them. And I have some other designer belts. So I will rock a designer belt just for you next stream. I promise. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. <laughs> this was something. <laughs> Pinky swear. Okay. After opening up the teas, I should have actually opened up this new advent calendar this honey advent calendar because I feel like it would um, coincide with the teas. So next day 14, I will do that. So this is a new advent calendar. It's a honey advent calendar all the way from Nova Scotia. They only ship um, interprovincial, meaning there's like only uh, people in Nova Scotia can normally get this, but I have my ways. I was able to snag one. So super, super happy to get this from Anther and Apiary. Wow. This one is only 14 days of honeys. Look at this. It's from a very small little um, boutique in downtown Truro. Never been there, guys. Never been to Nova Scotia but it's super quaint and all of these honeys are raw from local apiaries around the province of Nova Scotia. So day number one. Day number one, it says on the top here, it's hibiscus infused raw honey oh look at that you can tell it's raw honey because it's cloudy so it's unpasteurized it hasn't been boiled there is like good bacteria 
in this honey. I don't know if it's actually bacteria or whatever it is. It's unpasteurized though. Because I know that honey is antimicrobial. So how can there be bacteria in an antimicrobial substance? I don't know. It's something I have to look up. But anyways, oh look, bottled October 27th, 2021 from Pearl House Farm, 287 Upper Brookfield Road, Brooksfield, Nova Scotia. So, I mean, you know exactly the farm that it's from. I'm sure these are happy little bees. And there's just a little blurb on what it is. It's the hibiscus flower infused honey. Hibiscus is like a tart flower used in a lot of teas. So mixing it with the honey, it will be like a sweet and sour honey type of deal. Which is very nice. Sweet. So that is the honey of the day, which will go really well with all of my teas. I like to add honey to like my black teas. Normally I don't add honey to green teas or oolong teas, but I will add honey to black teas because they can be pretty, a lot of tannins and they can be pretty uh, tart or bitter, bitter. Are you from French or Western Canada? Apollo 62? I'm from smack dab in the middle. I'm from the largest city in Canada. Kind of like a American city. A lot of, a lot of the rest of Canada don't like people from the city that I'm from because they say that we're so like American because it's such a large city. I'm from Toronto, Canada, smack dab in the middle, in Ontario, off of Lake Ontario. I'm from the Burbs though, like I'm not right downtown, I'm from about 40 minutes away from downtown. And um, yeah, born and raised in, in uh, Toronto, Canada. But I love to travel, I, I travel, I used to travel before COVID. I haven't traveled since COVID um, outside of Canada. But yeah, like I used to travel frequently. I've been to Europe many times before. I've been to uh, South America, Asia, never been to Australia, never been to Africa, and never been to Antarctica. But I would like to hit all the continents. That would be amazing. British Columbia or Saskatchewan? No, I'm from Toronto. <laughs> Are you going to do the movie quote one, two? Soon, dehydrate UWU, and I hope you're gonna get it this today. Yesterday, dehydrate UWU was the winner of the movie quote. He guessed the girliest movie too. That's why I thought you were a girl as well. But you must have Googled it. You must have Googled it, because there's no way. Okay. But just after the um, Netta Porter Beauty Advent Calendar, I will, I will uh, open the popcorn calendar. I'm taking my sweet time today, guys. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm getting caught up in the chat. I got raided for the first time today. And I'm so, I'm so enthusiastic about that. That's so cool. I feel very, I feel very VIP to get raided. I'll have to raid, uh, I'll have to raid, what's his name? Who raided me again? I'll have to look it up, but I'll raid you back one day, I promise. Okay. You need to search UW on YouTube to understand how it's said. I really should. <laughs> I really should. Ooh, uh, what is it? Now it's kind of cute how she pronounces U W. I just literally say the letters U W U. I'm a boomer. I don't know how old you guys are, but I'm definitely older than you. I'm a boomer, so. Okay. I don't know all the 
all of the challenges and all of the lingo and all that. I don't know, but I'm excited to learn about it. So let's move on though. I do know my beauty care products. I do know that. And let's move on to the Net-A-Porter Beauty Advent Calendar. Day number 13, lucky 13. Where are you 13? Down here, okay. Look like in your 20s. Well, you know, I use a lot of skincare products. I moisturize, I moisturize and that is key. Okay. The Netta Porter product of the day is from Lenore Grail, Paris. So a French company. A lot of these products, I have no idea what they are. They're super high quality, like luxury brands. Never heard of this brand in my life, but it's from Paris, so it's gotta be good. It's a hydrating mask for thin and dry hair. Ooh. This looks good for me because I have thin hair. I'm very, not thin, I'm very fine hair. I have a lot of it, but it's fine. So when I use like a moisturizer that's heavy with a lot of oils, heavy oils in it, it will weigh my hair down um, and look greasy. So if you use a moisturizer for you know, it's still hydrating for dry hair, but it's for thin hair, so it won't it won't weigh down your hair. It'll still volumize and moisturize, which is kind of like a um, what do you call that? Like an oxymoron to to moisturize and volumize. You know what I mean? Usually the two don't coincide. So this is pretty. This is pretty cool. What the hell is in it? Jojoba seed oil. All kinds of goodies. Nice. I will put that to good use. Okay. Now, Seared Gaming, Francais. Are you French, Seared Gaming? No, you're from Toronto. I talked to you about Pokemon the other day. You're from Toronto, Seared Gaming, or are you originally from Quebec? Parlez Francais? Un petit peu. Apollo 62. I know my 15 in 1 shower gel conditioner, dish soap, car polish, and anti to cream. You know, it's so funny because. Because, like, guys can do that. Guys can use a fucking 15 in 1 product. They can use fucking dish soap on their face, no moisturizer, and yet their skin looks amazing. And I don't know how you guys do it, but this is so true. Girls have so many different <sighs> regimens and beauty care products, and this product is for that, and this product is for that. And yet, I feel like we're always trying to keep up with this beautiful skin that a lot of guys have without trying. It's just effortless. So, good for you guys. All right. Seared game, I only took French till grade nine. And a little, like a few words, that's it. Oh. You said, oh, that's why you said Francais, because you barely know it. I took, uh, I took French until like grade 11. I know a little bit to get by. I'm pretty good with it. I can, I can get by. We don't take a pill that messes up our hormones daily. That's true. Good point. Good point. Okay. So I have one water-based face wash and that's all I use. Wow. Okay. Let me look up this thing. Dehydrate. How to how to pronounce? U W U. Yeah, I'm a cook like that. 
That didn't work at all. I have to turn the volume up on this thing. That doesn't work at all. 100,000 times in a row. Ooh. You are definitely recommend watching this. It lasts about for about 10 hours. Works. After this, you will be sure to know how to pronounce. Ooh, ooh, woo. ooh, woo. ooh, woo. ooh, 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 wait a minute. I know exactly what this is. Oh my god, I know what this is. This is from, it's Uwu, so it's Dehydrate Uwu. And this is from like a Reddit post or something with this Uwu, right? I know this thing. Somebody told me this in a Discord that I'm in. It's like, it was either like 4chan or Reddit. And somebody did, it's like a meme that everybody talks about or whatever. It's Uwu, right? Okay, so it's Dehydrate Uwu. And I would just like to say you should moisturize instead of dehydrate, ooh woo. But yeah, that's all. Okay. Now, dehydrate, ooh woo. <laughs> um, it's your time to shine. Let's see if you got what it takes for day, the second day in the row. If you are the winner, if you reign notorious for this fucking movie quote, silly nonsense that I have here. Let's see. It's a TikTok thing. I just cool. I just YouTubed it. It said ooh woo. No. I'm so confused. She's gonna do the. I don't know that face. <laughs> I'll have to research it further, guys. I'll research further. In the meantime, dehydrate. I'll just call you dehydrate for short. <laughs> dehydrate. <laughs> I said it right? Ooh, woo. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. So, in the meantime, are you ready for these movie quotes? The first person, no cheating, to, learn, to tell me what movie this is from, or I can try and guess too, but I probably won't, is the winner and gets all the credit of the day. Day number 13, let's go. <sighs> Fuck, I don't know this. Well, nobody's perfect is the quote of the day, guys. Well, nobody's perfect. Um, Jason, who normally um, knows all these things, would definitely be chiming in about now, but, um, I have no idea, and I'm not going to Google it, because that's not fair. I will let somebody try and figure out what it is. They're from, like, old movies, Apollo 62, like, really old movies, like, Back to the Future, um, fucking, uh, Rambo, like, all this, like, Die Hard, and, like, all this, like, old movie shit. So, that's why they're so difficult, because I feel like, like, this gener- this Twitch generation doesn't watch these movies. So, yeah, sounds like a 60s movie, like, it's something really old. This popcorn shed advent calendar thing from the UK, I guess they watch old movies in London and in, in uh, England. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, welcome, Juan Rikov, whatever your name is, welcome. <laughs> new viewer. I gotta give you a little recognition. You are the new viewer. My name is Anne. Hence my handle, hot and streamy, because I'd like to think I'm okay looking, and I am streaming, and my name is Anne, so, you know, add those three together, and that's what you get. 80s movies are still fairly recent. 50s and 60s movies are old movies, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, it's just a different mentality. 
in the 50s and 60s. The popcorn of the day. I'm from Toronto, Juan. Where are you from? I'm from the six, as Drizzy Drake would say. Canada, Argentina. Wow, welcome, welcome. We have a viewer from South America. I've been to Bolivia before, which is fairly close to Argentina. Not, not as far south. I'd love to go to Argentina one day and Patagonia. I would love to. Chile. But yeah, I've been to Bolivia, believe it or not. Strangely enough, I've been to Bolivia. Oh, he probably does. And I know what that word is too because Colin told me. You better not shit talk, Juan, because in this channel we don't take shit talks. That's all I have to say about that. But anyways, the popcorn of the day. Oh, the popcorn of the day is toffee flavored popcorn. So, I mean, pretty typical. This is pretty standard in terms of like popcorn to get toffee flavor, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Honestly though, the amount of popcorn that they have in these bags, it's kind of a joke. It's like a handful of popcorn. I don't think, I mean, the movie game is kind of fun, but I don't think I'll be getting this advent calendar again next year. It wasn't worth it. It was about $40 for this advent calendar and popcorn is very inexpensive. To get a handful of popcorn is kind of a joke. It's like literally like pennies to make. So I feel like this one's a little bit of a scam. I won't be getting this one next year. So enjoy these old movie quotes while you still have them because this is not a rebuy for next year, that's for sure. Okay. I think you were right, Dehydrate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Good call. Okay. That concludes the advent calendar opening for day number. 13 which was actually yesterday and then um join me again right now <laughs> for day number 14 because i skipped yesterday that means i'm about to open my second bottle of wine please bear with me <laughs> it is a fucking tuesday night in the middle of suburbia in december and i've got nowhere to go and nothing to do so please join me in my nothingness and keep me company. Thank you. Let's open up the second bottle. Okay. So, I need my little bear claw for this one because I don't want to break my nails. This, these are really hard to open, so this is my little trusty dusty tool. When I took a road trip all the way to Thunder Bay, Ontario, still in the province of Ontario, but very far north of Toronto, it took 17 hours to drive to Thunder Bay. So super long road trip, it was very fun. And I got this little bear claw, back scratcher thingy along the way. But it's like a nice utility tool. I'm using it like uh, like nails right now. So, without further ado, let's open up day number 14. Okay. I have no idea what this is or how to pronounce it. My French is subpar. Depreville. Oh, so I know the extant you. Depreville, brut, meaning dry, sparkling wine. And it looks as though it has two little like horse heads on the bottle. 
That just means, must be like the logo from the vineyard. It is indeed product of France. Do not drink if you are pregnant. Like, look at this little logo here. How cute is that? You don't see that every day. But I guess that's what they put on uh, French bottles of alcohol. And you know what, guys? I need... Excuse me for two minutes because I need to like add more wine to my glass. Otherwise, to drink warm wine is not fun. So give me two minutes. I'll just be back. I'm just going to go grab some um, ice. Let's try, last bottle was a medium dry, medium dry, medium sweet wine, I don't know what the hell they call it, it's medium. This is dry, just straight up dry. I feel like a, a boomer drinking wine. But I like wine. And you should drink and eat and do what you like, regardless. That is my advice of the day, people. That is my advice of the day. Okay. Cheers to doing what you like. Whoa, that's really dry. Shit. I think maybe because I was drinking a, like a medium sweet one, a medium dry one before, that the dry is really like hitting me now. Ready to be 24 karat gold dipped. I know it was like $36 for some freaking popcorn. I won't be doing that again next year. The subtle dark energy from the sweetest person on Twitch. <laughs> it worked though, didn't it? It did, right? Sometimes, you know, you just gotta. Oh no, you have dogs. Huh? 17 gets you almost across the whole Europe. You didn't even get out of Ontario. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Ions! I haven't talked to you in a while. I haven't seen you commenting in a while, Ions. Welcome, welcome. Hit us with the glass. You must do your Canadian rupees. <laughs> Carlo! Greetings, Carlo! I know Carlo IRL. And he's a very nice guy and he likes to drink tea. And he's in for a treat because he hasn't missed out. He's not too, too late tonight. And he gets to see me open three different tea advent calendars while I'm a little bit tea tea or too turnt myself. So welcome, Carlo. Thank you for joining. And uh, 17 gets to across. Yes, okay. 
I know, 17 hours and I haven't left the province. That's, Canada's really huge. Like certain provinces in, in Canada are really, really big. So, and that's not even close. Like you, driving north is just like, it would take you days and days. So there's not much up there though. Once you leave, once you get past like um, Sault Ste. Marie or like um, Lake Superior, Anything north of Lake Superior, there's really not much. Eventually the roads end. And in order to get to different communities, you have to snowmobile in the winter or you have to fly and take a flight because there's actually no roads in between communities once you get that far north. Just crazy. Yeah, the infrastructure is just like not there. It's so big. Anyways guys, on to the cheese. You're a cat person, dehydrate, ooh woo, ooh woo. Dogs are ooh, <laughs> ooh woo. <laughs> I'm a dog person, <laughs> but I think we can still be friends. So if you don't, if you're willing to still be my friend, I'm a dog person. Okay. Um, have you not seen my dogs on the stream though? They come, they make a, an entrance, I feel like, every stream. I have two Hungarian Vizslas and um, they're a handful, but I love them. They're like my babies. Okay. Day number 14 for the cheese. Where are you 14? Oh, perfect, right here in the middle. Smack dab. And how fitting the image of the day is a little present. I mean, that's kind of what I'm opening up every day this month, right? And the cheese of the day from this British calendar. Ooh, it is a, an applewood cheddar smooth and creamy and i love anything like smoked with applewood like i was i'm cooking right now actually i'm having a party coming up on friday and um i i cooked some applewood bacon and i just love applewood like just the taste and the smell it's like aromatherapy so good. Mm. Well, it really is smooth and creamy, hence the name. Perfect for nibbling, it says. So good. Like, come on, guys. These houses are so cute. Let's see what we're working with today. Oh, it's a chocolate for sure. Oh, I think I've had this one before. This is what it looks like. And I can't remember, is it a cranberry caramel? Nope. It's not. I know what this one is. Sp Speculus 
biscuit truffle. And Apollo 62 would know because he's German. Speculus is like a spiced cookie. And another thing that I buy from Germany, I get it imported from Germany every year. I get um, Lebkuchen. Is that how you pronounce it? Lebkuchen? It's like a gingerbread cookie with a lot of nuts inside. I love German like cookies and sweets for Christmas. They really do it up. I also have some stolen in my pantry right now. And some German marzipan as well. So I love German treats for Christmas because Germany does it up for Christmas. Like their night markets, Christmas markets, like they're so, they just do Christmas really well. I have a rum stolen and a marzipan stolen. So like an almond stolen of two different kinds. No, I'm not German. <laughs> I'm um, Eastern European, Ukrainian and Hungarian. That's right, Apollo 62. This is just like, these homes are just like in Notting Hill in the UK. The Notting Hill district of London. I think they're so cute. Exactly, Apollo 62, exactly. I don't, unfortunately. I, I, I wish I did. I wish I spoke more languages. I actually speak a little bit of Cantonese, believe it or not, because I taught English in China. And um, I speak a little bit of French because I took it from like grade one to grade 11. So for many years in high school and elementary school. But I don't, I'm not really fluent in anything. My parents um, are born here in Canada. My grandparents are from Europe and um, they didn't really pass the language on. My parents don't really speak any other languages. I wish I spoke other languages though. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that you speak multiple languages, Apollo 62. Okay, so for this Ikea, uh, chocolate calendar, which is actually a product of Poland, which is close to the Carpathian Mountains where my family is from. So I kind of look Polish as well because I'm just from that part of the world. Um, day number 14. Mm -mm. Oh, here we go. Two little gnomes <laughs> eating a hot dog in typical IKEA style. And the image of the day is a little candle. Look at that, how cute. Ooh, this is pretty. This is the first time getting this chocolate. Oh, shit. Five second rule. <laughs> I feel like when you've been drinking your inhibitions and like, 
you don't care as much, right? This is true. I know my floors are clean, so. Well, decently clean. Ooh, the chocolate of the day is a cappuccino truffle. Cappuccino truffle. So let's see if it really tastes like coffee and milk. Mmm! Whoa! Super creamy, really sweet. I like you're drinking a really sweet cappuccino. A little too sweet for my liking. Dehydrate oo woo. Where are you from? Out of curiosity. Apollo 62. I've been to Hong Kong and Macau multiple times, but I actually uh, I lived in Guangzhou, which is Guangdong province, or formerly known as Canton province of China. So mainland China, north of Hong Kong. About an hour train ride north of Hong Kong is where I was. And I highly recommend visiting Budapest. It's a really great city. I had a great time when I went. Yeah, Guangzhou. It's a great city. Dehydrate, ooh woo. Wait, you're from Egypt or you're living in Egypt currently? Like, where were you born? Where did you grow up? I know where you're residing now. Or, or where have you spent most of your years? I think that is the most important thing. Born in the hospital, me too. <laughs> I was born, grew up in Qatar. Oh, damn! I really want to take Qatar Airlines because that's some that's some high grade shit. To take first class Qatar Airlines, that's another level of flying. That's some high grade luxury flying. I tell you. Nice. I've never been to the Middle East. I'd like to go one day. I'd like to go to like Dubai, Jordan. Um, my neighbors used to be Qatari, like from Qatar. So, and I know that the um, the world, the like the uh, soccer, like the world, uh, what do you call it, the World Cup. The World Cup is coming up in Qatar. So hopefully that works out with all of COVID and all of these variants happening. Hopefully it actually pans out. And I know that a lot of the games in Qatar for the World Cup will be actually played at night in the evening when it's a few degrees cooler. And all of those stadiums that have been built are like fully air conditioned, uh, which is great for the players because it will be in a desert. So they can't, they might not be able to run for like an hour and a half in the heat. So I'm excited to watching to watching uh, 
the FIFA World Cup in Qatar coming up. Hopefully, fingers crossed it happens. Christmas next year in Qatar! Christmas in Qatar! I like the ring to that, Apollo 62. Christmas in Qatar. I like that. Okay. <sighs> I am full of cheese and chocolate now. Like, so much of it. And I would like to move on to my tea advent calendars. Day number 14 for David's Tea, which is a nice little Canadian tea company. I've been buying tea advent calendars from David's Tea. Excuse me, for like the last six years, I believe. So even though I've pretty well tried every flavor of tea they have, they, in this calendar, there's barely any new ones. I just, for old time's sake, I thought I would get the calendar again this year. Excuse me, it's pretty well tradition at this point. So the tea of the day for David's tea is Candy Cane Crush, which I've had before. And um, it's such a pretty tea. I love personally like minty teas, mint and chocolate during the holidays. They go so well together. This one isn't really chocolate. It's more so just there's little pieces of candy cane and uh, well, it's white chocolate inside. So you can kind of see there's sugar snowflakes. Ah, there's sugar snowflakes, pieces of candy cane. What else is there? So sugar snowflakes, pieces of candy cane, and little like um, white chocolate chips, I guess, mixed with black tea. So there's a lot going on there. That's for sure. I've had this one, like I said before, and um, it's a classic. I love it during the holidays. There's something so nice about the cooling mint candy cane taste. some tea that tastes like dirty ass for sure I've had it before there's some there's some tea I've had in China that tastes like fucking swamp water like just has a really dirty taste um, but there's so many different varieties of tea out there I think you probably just haven't had the right one that's what it is mm. Black or nothing, unless you have a cold or something. Ah, black tea. Yeah, ah, uh, I love all teas. Living in China, I was like introduced to so many different teas. White teas, green teas, oolong, poo -er, black teas. Like, I love them all. I love them all. It depends what mood I'm in, really. So, I like coffee too, uh, but I love tea more. I love tea. Colin coming out of left field with Spider-Man. The reviews are saying that Spider-Man is one of the best movies ever. Hmm, I should go see it actually. Maybe I'll go see it in theaters. Somebody tried to say something. Oh, it was Colin. The Automod got you, Colin. Eats ass confirmed. <laughs> You know what, guys? As long as... Oh, I shouldn't say this on Twitch. But if this... You know what? I have a disclaimer already. But listen, as long as you shower and you're clean, you should be able to eat everything your heart desires. That's all I have to say. Sarah 
seared gaming. I like apple cinnamon tea. So do I. I love all teas. Where are the exam supposed to go, Colin? And so I can go soon, Colin. Soon. I'm on my way. Okay. I gotta hurry up. That's my cue. And I'm taking my time here. And I'm busy because actually, I have to cook. I have a party coming up and I'm cooking. So, I have a party and I have a lot of cooking to do and a lot of like, I just want to like basically uh, treat my guests to the best experience they possibly can have during the holidays because I feel like that's what Christmas is all about. It's better to give than to receive. So I have a party coming up on Friday, and I'm preparing, and I have a lot to do, so. Okay, you're right, Colin. Good point. Ah! Dehydrate, ooh-woo. That's up to you. Don't let anything hold you back. That's what I'm saying. If you want to, go ahead. As long as she's clean. So. Nobody likes dirty ass tea, and no one likes to eat dirty ass, literally, so. Okay, moving on. Day number 14 of the AC Perch Advent Calendar. Oh, so you can go to the movies. Okay, Colin, when are your exams over? You should make auto mod weaker. Colin, I only made auto mod moderate. I didn't even make it high, I made it moderate. So, I don't know, maybe I should make it low. Okay, this beautiful pink box from AC Purchase. Never tried this tea before in my life. It's Ching, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Ching Wu, Ching Wo, Ching Wo, I guess. Let's see what it looks like. It's just a black tea. And it smells kind of uh, vegetal. I don't know if you would like it, dehydrate, ooh woo. It's one of those, if you know what I mean. Very vegetal, very earthy. One of those. It is a black tea. So you might like it, Apollo 62. Let's read what the description says. Okay. Ching Wo, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Medium strength Chinese black tea with a relatively with relatively many tips so that the tea leaf tips This tea was formerly called Mao's long march tea How communist can you get how red China can you get no wonder they changed the name That's like fucking It's pretty well racist at this point and it's very like offensive to people so they, that's why they changed the name and was it tea that the uh i don't even know what this word is proletariate could also afford so i guess it's, it was a, an affordable tea the tea is made from a strong dai bai cha tea bushes which provides a strong cup of tea and the origin, the, the ingredients, it's black tea from China. So basically all this is, is a, is a very strong black tea, tea from China. Probably it was called Mao, like Chairman Mao's Long March, because it's pretty strongly caffeinated. It's very strong, powerful tea. And you can, you know, march for a long time after you drink a cup of this, is what I'm kind of guessing. But yeah, no wonder they changed the name to Ching Wu or Ching Wo. So yeah, never tried this tea before in my life. Um, I'm sure I'll like it. 
I love the history about this though. This is pretty interesting. Never learned about this before. So it's pretty cool to me. Okay. And if Carlo is still watching, Carloft, I know you would appreciate this, Carloft. Day 14. Carloft would appreciate this. Okay. Sunday is my best one. I like. Looks good. See, Carlo? I knew it. I said that and then I looked at the chat. I knew you'd like it, Carlo. I knew it. This is the Danish calendar, Apollo 62. Definitely. Colin's still talking about Spider Man. Strong, powerful communism. Exactly, dehydrate, uwu. I like that box. Wish I had. I'll give it to you. Don't worry, Carlo, I'll give you one. Don't worry, I have so I'm gonna have 24 like little tins. You can use it for anything your heart desires, if you know what I mean. Okay, the last tea of the day is from the Tea and Me blog. Let me just say a little blurb about it because Carlo is watching. It is confirmed. This is from the Tea and Me blog. Um, I bought it off of Etsy. There's only 20 tea calendars in production. So I'm so happy I snagged one this year. She's not making one next year because she's getting married and planning a wedding. So she's not even having the advent calendars next year. I got it for a cool... 35 USD, super cheap. That was with wrapping and shipping included. So be in the way she was able to send it and um, put these calendars with 24 different teas, like so cheaply, is because they were all donated to her. They're all samples that were sent to her from suppliers that for promotion purposes. So basically all the teas she got were free. The only thing she had to cover was the wrapping and the shipping cost. So that's how I was able to snag this advent calendar for 35 USD. So without further ado, let me find day number 14 of the Tea and Me blog calendar tea. Hi. Like an entourage happening here. Okay. Carlo, you like the box? You wish you had it? It's yours, Carlo. Okay. Day 14 of the Tea and Me blog. V was very interested. Yes. Let's see what we have today. Vegas is interested too. What is this? Oh my god. It's a red tea. They're so they're not usually um you normally don't see red teas. So this is a red Lapsang Su Chong. I have no idea how to pronounce this. This is five grams from 2019. And it's in a little canister. Pretty cute. Oops. 
So it is a red tea, which you normally don't see very often. It's from 2019, which is classified as a vintage. And it's from Wu Yushan, China. I don't even know that province of China or where that's from. And then here's the IG and the URL in case you're interested. Not only that, there is a code that I'm happy to share with you. The offer code is for tea and me 20% off your first order. So if you're interested in getting 20% off some tea, please use this code at this website to score you some savings. Happy holidays, everyone. Nice. I'm happy to get this. I like red tea. Normally, there's not many red teas out there, so it's, I'm pretty happy to get that. It's nice. Oops. My, my collection of things are really adding up here. Carlo... you have some tea so let's trade <gasps> let's have a little tea trade I'm down because I'm telling you I'm basically getting three teas a day for 24 days so I'm getting a lot of tea right now from all over the world Africa India China the States like tea from all over so quite the collection. All right. So that's the rest of the teas. Let's open up the honey for day number two, because that's what I will be ha pairing the honey with is the tea. Day number two of this beautiful honey advent calendar all the way from Nova Scotia they only ship within the province so very VIP exclusive type of ish and that's what I like I don't like to have things that other people have I hate that so I'm glad that I can Wow, look at the color of this one, guys. This is all raw, unpasteurized honey. This is bottled October 5th, 2021. Rose Street Honey in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. There's a little blurb. Look at the color. Wow. That is like ultraviolet radiation green yellow color like and this is wildflower honey from some happy little bees in nova scotia not a care in the world save the bees guys save the bees wow that looks so good. Honestly, Apollo 62, that's a good question. That's a very um, logical question. I will be drinking this tea throughout the year, straight up. Like, I can't drink this all this month. There's no way. This is going to last me the whole year. I'm basically going to be drinking different teas throughout the year. And uh, it should last me the year or so. By the time, you know, um, 
late September, early October happens and I start ordering more, I should be almost out at that point. I do drink tea daily, so yeah. Moving on to the Walnut Advent Calendar from Switzerland. Day number 14. And of course, you guys get a sneak peek first. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't do that. There's things popping. Oh, uh oh, can't do that today. Sorry, guys. Because, oh, that's what they gave me in my advent calendar. That's so weird. Hold on, guys, let me pick it up. It's a bunch of lentils. It's some green lentils. They gave me a bunch of beans. A bunch of beans today. I got beans. Lentils. So. <laughs> that's kind of a joke. <laughs> I mean, although I do eat lentils all the time and beans are very healthy. That's how we stay so slim and trim. Oh, okay, I didn't know this. Aw, this is this makes up for it. Lentils symbolize wealth. Grow rich inside first. I didn't know that lentils uh, symbolize wealth. And for some reason, there's another little thing in here that says plant time. So I know plants are good. Plants, people should be eating more plants. We should all like as a world, as the whole like global community be transitioning over to eating more plant-based okay i think dogs can eat lentils i'm not sure i have to double check on that apollo 62 but i think so dehydrate ooh woo Blue is my favorite color, but I feel like purple is really trendy right now. So I have been rocking a lot of purple, but blue is actually my favorite color. Always has been. <laughs> I like chicken too. Everything tastes like chicken though, no? Okay. Moving on, we have two more calendars of the day. Oh my god, this one's a big one. The Netta Porter Beauty Advent Calendar. I know, Apollo 62, you are vegan, aren't you? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, chicken tastes like chicken and that's better. Are you vegan, Apollo 62? I knew I have a viewer who's vegan. I can't remember if it's you or not. Okay, moving on to the Netta Porter Beauty Advent Calendar. Oh, you're not vegan? No. Someone else, I have a viewer who is vegan. Okay. Day number 14. Let's see what we're working with here. 
Ooh, it's heavy. Whatever it is. Ooh, this looks like it's expensive. Although I don't eat meat that often, maybe once a week. I prefer high quality meat every couple of days over daily cheap meat. I agree. All of the um, antibiotics and hormones that are pumped into these animals, they can't be good for you. <laughs> so this is the Macrine Actives High Performance Neck and Declote Declote Treatment Declote how do you pronounce that? Declote treatment. Basically, it's an it's an oil you put on your chest and your neck and you massage it in. And these things are expensive. This is also plant derived and certified organic. And it is, I don't even know where it's from. Product of Clean Beauty. I don't even know guys, but it's basically like an oil that you put on your face and your chest and your neck. This is what keeps you looking young, guys. This is, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Hold on one second. The music stopped and it's eerily quiet in here. also cosmetics in the calendar too, Apollo 62. Like there's lipsticks and things like that. Uh, it's a variety, but it's all luxury products, very expensive high-end products. Uh, dehydrate, ooh woo. Are you ready for the last advent calendar of the day? Day 14, this guy right here, tell me, let's see. Let's get ready for, let's get ready to rumble. Jason, <laughs> welcome, you made it. I'm still here. <laughs> I've been here for a while, but it's okay because I did two days in one. <laughs> Glad you could uh, make it to the end of the stream, Jason. You are my number one fan. This is true. Okay. Let's get to the um, day number 14 and let's try. Jason, you made it just in time. Are you ready to guess the movie quote? Are you ready? I have to say though, Jason, I have to give credit to Colin um, Apollo 62, Dehydrate, Ooh Woo, and Carloft 
for keeping me company this stream although you weren't here Jason they really kept me company and I have to give them credit for helping me out and keeping me talking for this this long otherwise honestly I would have been off a long time ago if I had nobody to talk to so thank you guys okay day 14 let's get this show on the road let's do it oh I know this one I know this one this finally that'll do pig that'll do this is from the movie babe which is such a cute movie this is from babe a hundred percent it's an old movie I saw it as a kid it's about a little pig that's what this is from I don't even need anyone to ch ch I win I win I get the credit I get the credit of the day and the popcorn too that's what it's from a hundred percent okay the popcorn flavor of the day though is a little bit sweet and a little bit salty if they added a little bit spicy in there too heaven heaven that's the perfect combination sweet salty spicy this is just sweet and salty though but um i love this combo and i will savor this little handful of 40 dollar popcorn never again so i might as well savor it while i have it right Jason, I got it. You watched, babe, dehydrate, ooh woo, oh good. And reused really well on Family Guy. Oh, I guess so, I haven't seen Family Guy in so, so long, so. But nice, that'll do, pig, that'll do. And I feel like that's a good way to conclude the stream as well. That's enough, pig. That'll do. Mm. Guys, congratulations to you. Cheers to you. For making it to the end of the stream. Thank you. It has been a roller coaster. I would like to thank all of my fans, all of my viewers for helping me all the comments and keeping me going and motivated without you there would be no me and this is true so thank you all I'm a little bit tipsy but to be expected join me tomorrow for day number 15 again I might not make it on tomorrow I might do a two for one day on Thursday but keep your eyes peeled because I'm not 100% sure. I might make it on tomorrow after all. It all depends on what I'm doing um, during the rest of the day. So until tomorrow or the next day, guys, thank you all for joining me on my Advent Calendar unboxing adventures. Um, yeah, until tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.